Hello children. Yesterday we started with the chapter expansions and we have done with the four formulas. I gave you a few questions. I hope you people have done those questions. Today we will use the same formulas for different type of questions. Question number one is if x minus 1 by x is equals to 4, find x square plus 1 by x square. Second part, x plus 1 by x and x raised to power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4. So we'll start with the solution. Now here it is given that x minus 1 by x is equals to 4. So what we will do, squaring both the sides. Squaring both sides. What we will get after doing squaring both the sides? x minus 1 by x whole square is equals to 4 square. That is, now which formula we will use here? a minus b whole square. Why? Because the question is x minus 1 by x. So formula is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So we can use this formula on the left hand side. So it becomes x square plus 1 by x square minus 2 into x into 1 by x that is equals to 16. Now we can see that in the next step x and x is cancelled. So what is left? Minus 2 that is equals to 16. So what is the value of the first part of the question? x square plus 1 by x square is equals to 16 plus 2 that is equals to 18. So our first part is 16 plus 2 is equals to 18. Now we have to go to second part. So second part of the question is find the value of x plus 1 by x. So we have to find out the value of x plus 1 by x. So we will use the formula x plus 1 by x whole square. Which formula we can use here? a plus b whole square because this term is with the positive sign. So a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. In place of a what is the value? x. In place of b which value we will use here? 1 by x. So now we can see x and x is cancelled. In the previous part we got this value. We got the value of x square plus 1 by x square. That value was 18. So we will substitute that value 18 plus 2 that is 20. So what is x plus this is the value of x plus 1 by x whole square. Now in the next step we have to remove the square. So how to remove the square from one side? We will do take the square root on the other side. So square root of 20 is take do it by prime factorization. 20 factors 5 into 4 is 20 now 2 into 2 2 times so at one time it will come out so 2 root 5 so the value of square root is actually plus minus 1 but for our own convenience we always consider the value positive so it's we will take the positive value so 2 root 5 our third part is Find the value of x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4. Now we can see that x how to get x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4. In the first part we got the value of x square plus 1 by x square. That was equals to 18. Now what we will do again we will do squaring both the sides. So do squaring on both the sides and here see children again positive sign so we have to use which formula a plus b whole square. The value of a is x square and value of b is 1 by x square. So we will substitute in the formula x square whole square plus 1 by x square whole square plus 2 into x square into 1 by x square that is equals to 324 
Now x squared x squared is cancelled. These powers will be multiplied. So x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4 plus 2 is equal to 324. So what is the answer of x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4? That is 324 minus 2 that is 322. So this is the answer of our third part of the question. Now come to the next question children. A square plus B square plus C square is equal to 89 and AB minus BC minus CA is equal to 16. So we have to find out the value of A plus B minus C. So solution is now we will use a formula A plus B minus C whole square that is equal to A square plus B square plus here C is minus C. So we will take minus C whole square plus 2AB minus 2BC minus 2CA and how we have got this minus that yesterday I have already explained. Now it becomes A square plus B square plus C square. Now we can see what is common in these three terms. So 2 is common in all the three terms so we will take 2 common. So it becomes plus 2 in the bracket AB minus BC minus CA. Now we will substitute the value of a square plus b square plus c square that is already given in the question 89. So 89 plus 2 into what is the value of ab minus bc minus ca that is already given as 16. So 2 into 16 so it becomes 89 plus 32 that is equal to 121. So this is the value of a plus b minus c whole square. Now we have to remove square. So what we will do? On the other side we will put square root. So square root of 121 is 11. So answer is A plus B minus C is equal to 11. So children today I am going to give you the question which is same as these questions. So you need to practice. Thank you.